Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> You're not going to believe your eyes with some of the things Dr. Smith and I are going to show you about center of mass. I assure you, there are no optical illusions here. Come and join us as we learn about the center of mass. For an object hanging on a string, the center of mass is the balance point. Some objects, it is hard to see the center of mass. The center of mass is the location where if all the mass could be concentrated at one point, it would be at the center of mass, just like a sphere hanging on a string. The center of mass is always perfectly in line with the support. Check this out. Dr. Smith constructed a 2 liter bottle balance board. This is how he did it. These are the tools he used. A drill with a hole saw bit that matches the size of a two liter bottle cap. A jigsaw with adjustable angle, a square, tape measure, screwdriver, and pencil. The dimensions of the board that Dr. Smith used in making his bottle balance board are about three and a half inches wide and about a half inch thick. First, Dr. Smith cut a 45 degree angle on one end of a long board. He then cut off the corners of the angled side. You do not need to do this, he just thinks it makes the board look cooler. He then used a hole saw that matches the size of the mouth of the 2 liter bottle. He drilled the hole roughly three and a half inches from the angled end of the board. The further you drill the hole from the angled end of the board, the more water will need to be present to make the board balance. Three and a half inches is a good starting point. You can always drill more holes. Finally, Dr. Smith cut his board length just over nine inches. Now, using a 2 liter bottle that is full, try to balance it. If it doesn't balance, remove some water and try again. Just keep removing water until you can finally get it to balance. How does the bottle balance board work? The center of mass is always directly above the support. So Dr. Smith is hanging a plumb line immediately over the support of the balanced 2 liter bottle. To the right and left of the plumb line is exactly the same amount of mass. If Dr. Smith pushes on either side of this center of mass, the bottle falls over. However, when he pushes down directly on the center of mass, the bottle remains balanced. Next time you are at the dinner table, you can take advantage of the center of mass. Find a salt shaker that is roughly one half full. Make a very small pile of salt and balance the salt shaker on its edge.
Once you get it balanced, carefully blow away all the salt. If you could drop a plumb line directly over the support, you would find that exactly half the mass is on each side of the plumb line. Now this is really strange. Have you ever seen a spring with weights dropped in slow motion? Check this out. The bottom of the spring doesn't move. It appears to defy gravity. The bottom of a spring remains in place and doesn't fall until the top of the spring reaches it. What's going on here? Check out the slinky. It's the same thing. That's impossible. Everything is supposed to fall at the same rate. Is this breaking Newton's laws? Better not be. Nope, it's not. We really should not say all objects with the same air resistance fall at the same rate. What is better and closer to reality is to say all centers of mass of objects with the same air resistance fall at the same rate. It is the center of mass of an object that is accelerating toward the ground. Paying attention to the center of mass in a free-falling object is especially important when dropping a slinky. The center of mass of an unstretched slinky is indicated by the black dot. When an unstretched slinky is dropped, it is very easy to see the bottom of the slinky falling immediately from the initial drop as this slow motion video illustrates. Like all objects, the center of mass of an unstretched slinky accelerates as it falls toward the ground as indicated by the accelerating black dot in the video. Now, how about the dropped stretched slinky? This is where the center of mass is for a hanging stretched slinky. When this slinky is dropped, Notice that as the center of mass accelerates toward the ground, only the top springs decompress. The bottom springs remain unchanged. The center of mass falls due to gravity until it reaches the bottom of the slinky, and then the entire slinky falls just as any uncompressed slinky falls. It is really interesting to synchronize the slow motion video for a dropped, stretched, and unstretched slinkies. Should they both strike the ground at the same time? Hmm, good question. In the absence of air, they would. However, air resistance is a lot higher for the stretched slinky because it has a much larger surface area than an unstretched slinky while falling. The air resistance of stretched and unstretched springs is more similar so when their slow motion videos are synchronized, we do not observe the effect of air resistance as much as we do with dropped, stretched, and unstretched slinkies. Let's review. Let's review. The center of mass of an object is the balance point and is always located directly in line with the support. An understanding of center of mass helps us balance objects in peculiar positions. Regarding free falling springs and slinkies, the statement, when air resistance is the same, everything falls at the same rate, does not seem to fit what we are seeing. Regarding all free falling objects, it is closer to the truth to say, when air resistance is the same, all objects' centers of mass fall at the same rate. And then no matter how peculiar or complex the free-falling object is, we have correctly described the motion.